Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share some beautiful home design ideas and also going to tell you what to consider while making a home office. Nowadays, most of the people are working from home. First, find the dedicated space in your home that can be used solely for work. This will help create a clear boundary between work and home life. Before we continue the video, please go and subscribe my channel and invest in comfortable chair and desk to ensure that you have a comfortable and ergonomic workspace. Consider lighting in your workspace. Natural light is ideal. But if that's not possible, make sure you have a good overhead lighting and a desk lamp. Get organized with storage solution like shelves, cabinets or filling systems to keep your workspace clutter free and your work material easily assembled. Make sure you have a right technology and equipment like a reliable computer, printer and internet connection. Think about decor and personal touches to make your workspace feel more inviting and comfortable. This could include plants, artwork or a family photo as you prefer. Establish a routine and set boundaries to yourself and others in your home to create a sense of structure and focus during work or Don't forget to take breaks and get up and move around regularly throughout the day to avoid fatigue and maintain your overall health and well-being. If you have a spare room, this is the perfect place for a home office. However, if you don't have separate room available, try to find a quiet corner of your home that you can set up your workspace. It's important to choose a space that is away from high traffic areas like a living room or kitchen to minimize your interruption. And your deck should also be at the right height to avoid strangling your neck and shoulders. If you can choose a desk that is large enough to accommodate your computer, keyboard and other equipment you'll be using. If you have a lot of paperwork or files, consider using filling cabinets or binders to keep everything in order. And if you'll be on video calls or conferences, make sure you have a good webcam and microphone. You may also want to invest in a headset to minimize background noise during class. It's worth spending a bit more on quality. That's all for today's video. I hope you find this video informative and helpful. Make sure you like this video and hit the bell icon.